Greetings, my fellow warriors, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to RimWorld Biotech, The First Wendigo, Episode 17, Weenie Genie. So, defenses have been repaired. Good. Uh, Kish, are you idle? Where is Kish? You are hauling steel to the fab bench. Oh, look at this. I don't even have to do anything. Lovely. In fact, Kish, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to have you make a whole bunch of not actually making fab benches because you will haul steel for me and I can treat you as a hauler. So as soon as you get this fabrication bench full of steel, I'm going to forbid it. I mean, if you want to give me your blood, I will take it. I'll repair this a little bit more. At this point, I need to research, um, like, turrets and just stick turrets in the prison rooms. I'm so tired of them pissing and moaning. They get free room and board, and how do they say thank you? By punching the walls. So Waz is back. All mechs are back. Uh, Waza, you're set to recharge. Oh, no, you're on the wrong zone. Um, there we go. Because you had died, or whatever robots do. Five point five. Mm. I'm about that. Like it. All right, Kish. How's it going? Just keep hauling steel for me. And then Solwayne, you are hauling weapons to the stockpile. Not as useful, but like at least you're tidying up. Um, I am not gene extracting Yoko because it upsets her. And if I could keep her happy, it actually benefits me because then she's more likely to not lose, uh, not convert through Crisis of Faith. So it's very much by design that I have her. Um, as happy as can be. Excuse you. No one said you could hunt me. I'm a vampire. You are not the top of the food chain, friend. You're no longer the apex land predator. You're just meat and leather packaged up in a big dumb body. Rip you. Learn your manners. Get, get bent, friend. In fact, I might make a top hat out of you. Siege, toxic blighters. A siege, huh? That is a little annoying. Um. Bear, you can hang out. All right, let's get ready. I think I'm gonna keep Mac in here, in the vat. I'm not gonna uh, rally Mac. Oh, they are 100% snipers, okay. All right. Copy that. Wendy, are you hungry? You're maybe bloodlust, but not hungry. All right, Robos, let's go. Hey, Corrupt Omega, thank you for the bits. Only 20 more raids before I can make progress in anything. Uh, yeah, you feel me. You know how it goes. 
Rad, mu Rad must not pass go. Must not collect 200 blood. Dissolve them. Nine mechs. That sounds about right. One, two, three, five, four, nine. Yep. All right. Uh, who is the best geared and toughest? You are a genie. Oh, boy. I really want to capture Lanka. Badly, 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 badly. Note to self, capture Lanka when possible. Uh, we also have a pigskin here. Pigskins are probably the toughest of this crew. So let's lance the pigskin. They're assaulting the colony. That's fine. They have sniper rifles, so their weakness is um, melee. Wendy, why aren't you... Come on, I have a line of sight. There's also a dirt mole here. Oh, wow. The uh, the pigskin died. Dirt mole wouldn't be terrible to uh, capture as well. I'm going to uh, fall back to Orange Chaos, because Orange Chaos is obviously the slowest. And I'm going to use this building to break line of sight. So my best bet in this fight is to close line of, uh, uh, close distance as much as I can so that they can't snipe at me uh, easily. So the genie was Lanka. That would be that one. Okay, I am almost in cover. And I'm going to force them to come to me. Uh, I also have dark vision, so the, the darkness in this cave doesn't affect me at all, but it does affect them. So that puts me on a bit of an advantage as well. So most of them are wasters, except for Chlorophyll here. Chloro Rift is a dirt mole. Link is a genie. And I really want the genie because I really want to scan Dead Calm. Never do social fights. Mental breaks are never violent. Never prison break. That would be amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. To have in slaves and to have in prisoners. So that is uh, top priority. And then anyone else that I can get out of this is good. Also, Packers of Rival Meals is going to make feeding my prisoners so easy. Because I can just drop the Packers of Rival Meals into their prison rooms. And then just, just not feed them for 45 days. Or 20 days or whatever it is. That would be awesome. Wait, where are you going? Where are they going? What are you guys doing? You know we're fighting, right? So, 26-year-old waster. Got it. Here comes Gray, 43-year-old waster. And then Lenka's sitting right outside. Lenka should be easy to capture because Lenka is delicate. So I am actually going to um, not fire at will. I'm not going to shoot with anyone because she's uh, very easy to knock out. I'm going to punch her with the Militors primarily, because she's, uh... <clears throat> Guys! Come on! She died because her arm got hurt. <laughs> Boo freaking who! Ugh. Oh, worthless. <sighs> Alright, well, whatever. Um, Wendy capture Marley. Do we chase them? Or... No. Okay, Mex... You go to the entrance. So 26 year old with eggs is gonna be a higher priority, I think. I don't have res here, nor would I use it on a stranger like that anyway. Just makes me mad that I did everything that I could to not have her die. And then she was like, oh, 
Woe is me. My arm feels tingly. I shall die now. Shakespearean BS. That's what that is. I do get a nice steel mortar and a ton of shells, so I don't mind that. At least there's some silver linings. Plus a reinforced barrel and more components, which I desperately need. So, you know. She was a soccer player? Yeah, probably, right? Taking a dive. Uh, these guys are going to target my power grid unless, unless checked. So, noted. Um, I'm going to have them start to head and stop that. Female should be with the other females. You are bruised. So uh, you're not going to bleed out. Quick eat meal. I guess I should technically be on red raid colors. Yep, you've made grave mistakes. Now, of the, uh, uh, the Dirt Bowl would be nice to have because I do want to introduce fast healing into our genome and strong melee would be great too. And dark vision wouldn't be unwanted either. So the Dirt Mole is a capture if possible. Uh, okay, they're fleeing. May I introduce you to my SMG? They're also tough, right? They, um... Stop hitting my doors. All right. Let's very softly introduce... Here, you guys get out back with Slowway and Parduke, who are not high-damage robots. There we go. At least I got a win there. Uh... This is for prisonals and capture. And then you are 37, so you do have eggs as well. Yeah, I mean, not terrible. I'm I'm okay with the results of this. I really wanted that genie, though, really badly. But, uh, nope. So, control group one, this is the dormant recharge, or actually just do the regular recharge, and then group two, you are work. Why am I having combat slow down? What is going on? Oh, uh, the idiot got back up. All right, Slate's dead. Care a piece of wood and go melee into the next one? Uh, Jade clubs. Jade clubs are, are baller. No, I don't put her there. For that, for that, for that, uh, purpose. Okay, uh, Wendy, I am gonna have you clean up the, the site with caravanning. So, for me to caravan it quickly... I'm gonna actually drop my gun, just so that I can hold more stuff, because there's a lot of stuff out here. So the first order of business is to get the pack of survival meals, because the wild animals on this map tile are gonna eat them. And I don't want that, because it's a very quick and easy way for me to feed my own, um, my prisoners. Schedule. Mix. You guys, so the rechargers are going to be behind the walls, and then you guys are unrestricted. There you go. And I, I do need to repair them, but uh, that's that will get done eventually.
Mac, you're probably 16. <gasps> Mac is 16! I was right! Welcome out, friend! Let's give you proper priorities. I'm gonna have you doctor and warden. I really don't want to do it myself, so it's your responsibility now, Mac. Uh, your food is correct, your drugs are correct, you should carry herb on you, and we're good. All right, I'm gonna pull the mortar and take it for myself. You have no passions? Yeah, you were vat grown. Vat grown don't get passions. So, Chloro Rift. And it put you on prison food? Marley, prison food. Yoko, prison food. Maker, prison food. That's something I forgot to do. And then you. Extract egg, and extract egg. Also, you have a bionic tongue. Um, I want it, so let's remove part tongue. And then in prison food settings, I'm also going to allow them to eat pack of survival meals. Because uh, then I don't have to deliver them food for a long time. Because I'm dropping it off in their rooms. And pack of survival meals don't decay, obviously. That's one of the huge advantages, so... Um, it makes it much, much, much easier for me to feed them without any effort. As long as they are uh, conscious and able to walk around. Oh, God, you should not be doing the, that doctor task, though. Because uh, you're going to screw it up. You can feed them. That's fine. So down here, I am going to put a shelf for shells. Mac, you are going to be... Are you Night Owl? Yeah, you're a Night Owl. Join me on the night schedule. That will help your mood. And then... Um, I don't really need you freaking out, so... Tend to your mood. Don't do this to me, Wendy. Don't do this to me. Don't make one trip into five. So this here is a shelf for shells. Where are... There they are. So now I can... If a siege comes in, I can counter shell them. Awesome. She has her gun back. And all is pretty well. Still need to convert Yoko. And probably Mac is not the person to do it. No, certainty 0 0.17. And then you're tantruming and you're going to go punch the shells. Now, you really are not a smart human being. I only really have myself to blame, given that, you know, I raised you. But, um... There. Sucked you dry so that you can't 
blow yourself up. You have strong me seeks energy. That's that's what it is. I'm Mr. Me seeks. Look at me punching the shells. Entering the afterlife in style. Uh, Twitch just super kicked everybody? Cool. I'm gonna be actually right back. Uh, yeah, Twitch, uh, Twitch exploded, didn't it? Kicked a whole bunch of people out of the stream. I'm sorry about that, guys. It was not on my end. If it's any consolation. It happens. It does. I don't like when it does, but it does. Alright, so Mac has... Mac needs food. How's Jonah in the pod? Jonah, you have plenty of nutrition. Good. And then these guys have food... I did pause the operations, so I'm going to resume those. Yoka has converted, so now enslave. Get max eggs? Uh, yeah, I will do that. Very, very shortly. And the tongue is out. Luckily, egg extraction is not a um, is not a like a hostile action, unlike gene scanning and everything else. So, the ovum extracting uh, doesn't cause any pain. They're not upset by it. Is Twitch keep just dipping out? Ugh. Alright, so Kish and Rosie still need repair in my uh, work bots. Got it. Is egg extraction hostile to other factions? I'm not sure. I don't think there's really a... I don't think so, but I don't think there's really a way to do it without you already having imprisoned them, so it's kind of like moot. You know? So the current priority is to take out the War Queen. I'm starting to see the the benefit to getting a Fabricor and a Paramedic Bot. Oh, frickin' Solar Flare. Of course. Of course. So the reason I would want to is, yeah, the not having to cook for myself and not having to tend to prisoners as much as I have been would be incredibly nice. Because it is uh, quite the burden that uh, I would like to relinquish.
Fabricator bot would be really nice. Yeah, I agree. I do... Uh, I So, I think the way to do War Queen easily is for me to get a another Insanity Lance. So, what I'm hoping to do is to get a trade opportunity uh, to, to grab an Insanity Lance so that I can just Lance the Queen and have her robots sort of deal with her without having to do very much. Some 39-year-old wants my help. That's cute. I don't think you asked the right people. But who am I to, to judge your judgment? I have so many organs for sale right now that if, like, an exotic goods trade opportunity presented itself, I am sitting quite pretty... I just haven't had one swing by in a while. So this shelf is going to be for steel. So I can make components a little bit faster. And Yoko, uh, Wendy, I'm going to raise Wendy's wardening priorities so that Wendy uh, tries to convert Yoko sooner. At this point, it's not unreasonable. Should I assign roles? Yes or no. Wendy would become leader and then Mac would become guide. Because I do have this guide role unfulfilled. I just wanted to ask if, if you want me to do it now or or not. Um. Oh, I guess I've butchered too many. Let me clean up some space. Yoko has converted, so uh, at this point it's enslave. I just need to enslave her. And I, I need a, a bedroom, I guess, for her. Is Mac good at social? No, Mac's not good at anything. Total antitoxic, uh, antitoxic lungs. Nice. Chloro Rift, you're next. So Brownell, I'm not teaching infants for lore reasons. Wendy is not a mother. She's a scientist. She has no uh, interest in mothering um, anyone. So, while yes, uh, it would be possible to take the infants out of the vats and to teach them, uh, it's not something I you will ever see me do. It might be possible when I have other colonists available to do those tasks, but Wendy herself refuses. She's just not ever going to be coddling children. I mean, I did that one child I did for Jonah because Jonah would have died and that would have set back progress. But as long as it's not for progress, the goal of the Wendigos is to breed Wendigos, not happy Wendigos. She doesn't care if they're happy or not. She just wants them to be flesh ripping monsters. Not cheery, well, you know, well civilized flesh ripping monsters. That doesn't make any sense. So, whatever traits they get, whatever passions they have, are immaterial because their sole purpose is to murder things. I don't traits and and uh, and passions don't matter when you. Their only purpose is to rip and tear enemies. So I hope that makes sense, because I've been asked that a bunch, and it's she's she's not 
She's not a good parent. She doesn't want to be. Alright, you guys want roles assigned. Cool. Begin role change. Wendy is going to be leader. No surprise there. Saving a butcher. Uh, no, I'm not saving you. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Get out of here. Growth moment for Jonah. Jonah is an undergrounder. Not a terrible trait. All right, roll change for Mac. Guide. So Wendy is now leader, and she has uh, work drive, combat command, that kind of stuff. And then Mac is getting guide. Ooh, we extracted fast wound healing out of you. I suppose it, um... I should reanalyze if there's any... Anything I want to assemble for... Oh, for the love of Maker. Do you really not want legs? I'm just going to rename you Lieutenant Dan. Or Lieutenant Dumb, more like. Could, could you stop? Yeah, as far as Wendy's concerned, Mac and Jonah are just stepping stones to a genetics project. They're not... She doesn't care for them. They're just tools. They're useful tools in order to breed better Wendigos. The final Wendigo we might treat differently once the Wendigos have all the traits required, but until that time has met, yeah, I don't, you know, she doesn't care. Uh, I guess I could give Mac great melee genes, but, like, I might not even bother because your food is already, uh, what, what is your 200%? Yeah. I don't care if the throne room is dignified. Uh, shoot. We better enslave her like right away because her certainty is gone. And then the other thing I'm gonna need when she joins is slave equipment. So I'll start tailoring for that. Oh, for real? My <laughs> components bench, I have one component left and my components bench just broke down. Jeez. Rude. I'm gonna have her fabricate some components so that I don't have that happen again. That would be really rotten. So we have this strap and the, where'd the collar go? Oh, there it is. Strap and collar's back for Yoko when she joins. <sighs> for real? Well, okay. Um, Mex. All Mex rally here, and you are going to be set to work. I'm enslaving Yoko now, and then. I might just actually kill Maker, because he's been annoying. I will probably mortar them, but then if I mortar them, um, I lose the ability to... I, I lose the ability to... Um, to control my mechs, because 
it's like one or the other, but not both. So I might just try to... Well, it depends on their equipment. Let me check. Uh, mixed all guns. Okay. Yeah, maybe I try to mortar them. The west door is open. So I'm going to leave my mechs uh, in position to attack their raid team. And Yoko, uh, that means I have a raffle, don't I? So if you're a subscriber in, in my chat, all you got to do is type something and you're eligible to become slave. So shells, high explosives only. And set force target to their shells. So they have a dirt mole. Let me see if they have a... Um, I don't think they have a, a genie here. A bunch of wasters and Neanderthal and like a dirt mole. And a hussar. They do have some interesting gear. There's recon armor and stuff like that, so... Can you farm organs from vampires addicted to luciferium? No, luciferium doesn't regrow organs. Uh, luciferium re uh, heals scars and things, but not organs. Alright, so they're forced to attack me. Um, that means I'm going to bottle up here. I'm actually going to change doors to this one, because this one um, will cause shooters to not snipe at me as often. But here they come, and I did manage to hit the dirt mole. Uh, they're probably dead. And this, probably dead too. And yeah, I will cue the, the liver uh, cirrhosis to be done soon. But I'm going to suspend it so that Mac doesn't try to do it, because that would be terrible. So the new entrance zone, let me get rid of area one, is going to be here. This is a good spot for when Kellyan can snipe at guys, but like these guys have long range weapons, so I lose that advantage. Just eat your eat your food there. It's fine. Do I have a toque for you? I don't believe I do. So I'm gonna want to probably queue up a toque or a tail cap. What is the warmest leather that I have? I know that I have a raid happening, so maybe I'll figure that out after the raid. Oh, you're trying to break in. Oh, and you are going to break in. That's obnoxious. Oh, <gasps> you turned around at 1.9%. I'm glad you're bad at math, because that would have been really, really annoying. Mac, um, I am aware of your ineptitude, and I would like for you to cut your teeth on some combat. So come join me. You have a tox pack, so you're going to fart out toxins, which really does not matter, because they're not going to bother me. I'm tox immune. And it's not going to bother Mac. Mac is tox immune. So bring on the toxins, man. Use those tox packs. Try to kill me with your tox packs. I don't care. This is fine. Hey, Rosie. Uh, go... Go to the home zone. Ooh, free beer. And this one I want to strip because recon helmets will smelt to plasteel.
Don't try to arrest me. Not what I meant to click. Already? Well, that was fast. Bane! Congratulations! You are our new slave, who's apparently bedless. Because I don't actually have a farm yet, put it in there. Ouch, they hit Wendy, who literally can't bleed to death, so not a big deal. And a flea. Wendy ain't done. Who do I want most? Probably a male to start fertilizing eggs. Um, and these are, okay, smog is male. And then if not smog, maybe Bowman, because Bowman has a recon helmet. Maybe I'll use Piercing Spine. This SMG is not packing the punch I want. There it goes. Oh, the bear is gonna eat Bowman. Plus, I hate Bowman. You know, because of Doomsday Vault. We have a history with Bowmans. Actually, no, bear, it's my kill. Make me happier. You can eat the head. Just don't eat the head. Leave the head. I want the gear. But you, you can eat the body. I will share. So, Smog. Welcome to our... Oh! Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have patched you up. Oopsie. Oh, well. Lesson learned. Capture first. So this is a stockpile for smeltables. It's going to be apparel that is smeltable and tainted. And that way I can grab things like recon helmets. All in all, that was not a terrible fight. Uh, so you are dormant self-charge. Soul Wayne, you should probably get your power back. But unrestrict. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, okay, that's a problem. Hi, Dirt Mole. I like... You must have broke in. Luckily, I can coagulate you instantly. You are 41 years old, so you can fertilize things. So, congratulations, we have our fertilizer. That sounds wrong, but... You know what I mean. You know what I mean. Um, you should not be in there, though. Because I don't want you forming a relationship with the other Dirt Mole. I don't need Dirt Mole babies. That was fortuitous. That just, we got a random person out of that. Oh, sorry, Kish. Yeah, if you want to rebuild that, go for it. All right, Wendy, how are your needs being met? Oh, you're, you're so happy. All that murder is just, you're smiling like you're the Joker at this point. I am a wee bit over encumbered full of uh, corpse stuff. Bit of a problem. So super fast wound healing and awful social just got extracted. What is that? Uh, okay, minus one. That's not bad. That it's 
it's bound like that. Um, Mr. Dortmull, you're in next. All my mechs, other, oh no, I missed one. Done. And then you guys are going to be on recharge. And set behind walls so you can actually get to the recharger. Uh, there is uh, yet another reason for me to caravan because there's a pack of survival meals out here that are going to be eaten if I sleep on them. So sorry, Wendy. Your work is never done. And then, uh, hmm. <laughs> Fade, why are you, what are you wearing? Take that helmet off. So some questions that you guys asked, uh, is growing people in the vent faster? Yes, it is much, much, much faster. And wouldn't Wendy, who is pragmatic, realize that Wendigos are more dangerous if they're intelligent? Yes, I agree with that. It's just that Mac is, and Jonah are not Wendigos. They're just test subjects. Wendigos are... are Wendigos, by definition, are only ones that meet the genetic requirements and... They are not that. So, Fade, you're definitely going to need a super tail cap. So, back to the tail capping. I think the blue fur is probably the best uh, leather that I have available to me. That is a heat insulation of 28.8 Fahrenheit. Uh, compare that to... And maybe I, I try to get some treble wear for you as well. Um... Where is the other leather? So human leather is not very insulating. That's 21.6. And cloth is 32. So cloth is best so far. Um, I thought I had polar bear stuff. I mean, I literally butchered a polar bear, right? So like, where's the polar bear leather? Where's the wolf leather? Where's all my leathers? Because you're hypothermic. Yeah, get inside. I don't need you missing toes. <gasps> A bulk constrictor coming in. Awesome. You warm up. And... Wendy needs blood? Yeah. We're, I mean, you see where she's going, right? <laughs> She's about to top up. I saw that. I don't care if you're unconscious. You're actually just better behaved if you're knocked out. I need like a textiles bench. So, according to the game, I have bear skin. Here it is. It's right underneath my nose. And that's 36 Fahrenheit. So, that's probably the best. So, what I will do is I will do tribal wear. Bear skin tribal wear. Because, yeah, that's definitely going to be the warmest. I think it's going to be warmer than fox skin. Fox skin is 28. Yeah, so bear skin is the best for heat. Uh, do I have cold tolerance? No, I don't. Okay. Well, I will work on her cold tolerance soon. And then as far as um, work priorities... Construct, plant, grow... Uh, basics, fine. Yeah. 
All right, that looks about right. Okay, and let's get a tail cap. Do I have enough left over for tail cap? 62, yeah, that's enough. So then a tail cap of bear. And that should keep her warmer. That should be pretty good. So 58 down to 36, which is freezing. And then, speaking of freezing, it's really cold. Yep, they were about to leave the map tile. Man, I had a premonition like no other. I was like, yeah, it's really cold out. I bet these guests are gonna leave. Yeah, we're leaving. Um. Oh my God. Yes, 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 delicious, yes. So what do I need? Uh, wool would be kind of nice. That would keep you warm. Pigskin. It's too bad that the pigskins literally don't give pigskin. Is there stuff I want to buy? Not really. So I'm going to lighten up on the amount that I'm selling, I guess. They can't afford it all. Oh, right. Keep the liver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I will buy the wood. Yeah, these guys have kind of trash for trade. Um. Hmm. Who are you? You're a bunch of tribals that I have not yet betrayed. Lucky you. Bait, don't go anywhere. You're useless. You're just going to topple over again. Uh, so I did buy the alpaca wool, correct? So although I just made that stuff, let me do another um, tribal wear and, and toque. So this... Actually, I'm not even going to do the tribal wear. Um, a toque made of alpaca wool. Because tribal wear costs more material. So this toque should be very insulating. So you're at negative uh, 9 Celsius, and then this toque should bring you down to, like, negative 20 or something. Negative 13. Okay, close enough. You shouldn't get uh, hypothermia, like, every 10 seconds now. Uh, so she's on, still on caravan. Um, yeah, I'm going to let her off caravan so she can sleep. So, Fade, you're around a lot of weapons. What is your slave suppression? 48? I might need to sacrifice someone to get Fade to uh, to be more suppressed so Fade does not try to run away. But I don't know who I would sacrifice. I would have sacrificed the Hussar, but the Hussar I kind of, you know, um, killed. Oh, yay. Gray eyes. That's that's great. Good, good grab there. Thank you for tuning in to the first Wendigo, which originally streamed live on Twitch November 10th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you'd like to join my gaming community, Rodamont.com also has a link to Discord, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that made it all the way to the credits and also support the channel. I'll catch you in next episode or an upcoming stream. Stay safe out there, my fellow Wendigos.